Pakistan from. So that's something to look out for, I suppose. Yeah, so uh, at the right-hand side, Rao Mariat is coming back for suspension. He wasn't available in the last game. He is Pakistan's regular right back. And here we go, we're live. All right then. So Jordan versus Pakistan at the Jinnah Stadium. Get through the Pakistan uh, defensive unit. Yeah, this is with Bara Mari now, who plays it aerially, tries to look for the striker, but that's defended well by Pakistan. They've kind of given it away over here. And that was a very, very... In France, which I think uh, is pretty much, uh, you know, the biggest billing um, superstar that has uh, played in Pakistan thus far. Thus far, yeah, for sure. Uh, he plays in, uh, as you stated, Montpellier in France. Uh, he's one of the top goal scorers for Jordan. He was sensational in the AFC Asian Cup. And here he is. And he's scored! One minute, 30 seconds! What a goal! Musa Altamari, he's done it. Slotted in perfectly over there. And uh, no worries at all for him. One and a half minute in. Musa Altamari fight for the top two spots to get into the round three. Saudi Arabia, who already have accumulated a lot of points. Center mids over here are really making life difficult for Pakistan. They've actually found uh, the, a Esan winger on Hadal the field. right on the right flank, and it's going to be oh nearly, miss. nearly scored again over there. Pakistan, uh, well, quite uh, you know a challenging sort of team to compete against for Pakistan because it's definitely a, a level above uh, Tajikistan, I'd say, and, and they lost 6-1 to Tajikistan. There's Esan Haddad again with the ball. This time it's well defended by Isa Suleiman. Rao Mahayat clears and here's Adil Yunus on the counter attack. That might be a good opportunity for Pakistan. Twice uh, Ooh. exploiting the left-hand spot of uh, Pakistan. Here's Shaikh, those who's going to play it long this time and Adil Yunus is on the run. But it's uh, they exploited Junaid Shah, who was on the left hand side, and they exploited the right uh, wing back as well. In but an attacking position once again, Jordan, but it's defended well by Pakistan. And you mentioned his time as an under 19 player for England. It was 2017. Hold that thought though, because Jordan are in an attacking position over here, and that is a penalty. He put Jordan ahead by 2 0 in no time. And he and slots it in, bottom left corner, Noor Al Rawabde. Actually, uh, he has something to say as well. Lifts his shirt, and Yusuf Butt has been defeated in goal. Uh, quite a composed take, and Yusuf Butt simply could not, you know, react in time or even guess the side problem. It's shown by the number nine, Ali Ul it, Al. It was Ali Ulwan, in fact. Apologies for the earlier error. And uh, yeah, Jordan at 2-0 up already. Uh, last time Pakistan played in the stadium, they lost 6-1. So they'll be hoping that it even captain them in one game against the Faroe Islands. And uh, here's hey, a long throw by Pakistan. As Alamgir Ghazi getting in there. Abdul Samad Arshad with a strike. Arab who plays is out to Bara Mare. Bara Mare has played a few aerial balls already. Let's see if he tries that again. He does exploit that uh, left-hand spot uh, Need once again. Need to work there to find Esan Haddad. And ooh, very nearly a third goal for Jordan. Deemed it. Noor al Rawabda is uh, distributing the ball now. Here's Musa Tamari now. He finds he Musa Tamari who plays the ball to captain Esan Haddad. Once again, crosses it in. And Abdul Samad Darshad with a clearance. Here's Rais Nabi with a, uh, with a ball now. And uh, some uh, Alamgir Ghazi looks to be injured at the moment. He's, He's fallen lost off. the ball though, Rais Nabi. But uh, luckily for him, that blemish doesn't cost Pakistan once more. Defended supremely over here by <laughs> Salim al -Ajalin. And now we have Noor al Rawabda, who is attacking Pakistan. Makes some space over here and has now found Nizar al Rajdan. Who plays it out on the right-hand side once again. Here's Esan Haddad. And that's been the template for them as well, right? They flank. Uh, Alamgir Ghazi. Alamgir Ghazi with a brilliant turn and a wonderful ball out on the left-hand side to Faridullah, who's going to use all his skill in the world and pass it back to Alamgir Ghazi. Uh, back spot. They've lost the ball quite casually on a fair few occasions already. A very good sliding tackle over there by Alamgir Ghazi, but in fact... It uh, in four days' time as well, so 26th March. The return leg of this uh, tie will be played in Jordan. Pakistan footballers can head it in. There's Mohammed Saddam with the long throw. Shaikh Al Nemeth. 
His Anal Namath has been a regular goal scorer for Jordan alongside Musa Al Tamari. And Pakistan. that was brilliant from uh, Adil Yunus. He plays it out to Abdul Samad Arshad, who plays it on to Adil Yunus. Long once again, unsuccessful in his attempt. Faridullah really, tried to salvage that, but it's gone once again to, to Musa. Here's Musa Al Tamari. Taking on Abdullah Iqbal, who defends that. And uh, Rao Humayat was the third goal scorer, I believe. He scored once against uh, Djibouti in the Four Nation tournament Pakistan played. So, those are the three matches. And Hassan well Haddad poses a threat for Pakistan because these guys, they've been playing, uh, they haven't been playing regular football. Uh, and uh, that shows the level of uh, gulf between the two sides. And here they are, Bobo over here some Pakistan players head. That's cleared once again by the Jordanian defence. Abdullah Iqbal putting in some fight right here. Baramari clears once again. He's one of the leaders at the back, right? So here's Mohammed Saddam with the throw in yet again. Faridullah gets in there, but that's cleared once again. He's playing uh, as a left back in this particular game. And uh, well, his prim primary job... Senior debut in the last match. And he uh, currently plays for OFC. Oh, that seems to be a bit of a, an injury out there. Two, two strikers, uh, Adil Yunus and Faridullah, have really put in the uh, long yards. Although I will tonight. say this, I am surprised to see Adil Yunus ahead of Imran Kayani. Yeah, that, that was uh, a surprising one as well because Adil Yunus, another product of the under-19 team of Pakistan, he played in the final of the SAF Championships as well. And here's a corner by Pakistan. It's uh, stopped in, tries to find the header, but uh, oh well, it does somehow land uh, to uh, quite comfortably dealt with uh, towards the end by Jordan. But that was as close as Pakistan have gotten to scoring a goal over here. And yeah, here's I mean, Mahmoud al Mardi once again on the left-hand side now. He plays it in and it goes right back to him. Now, uh, ball goes to Musa al Tamari uh, to Rawab there in centre. When he played that inside out through ball to Adil Yunus. But Pakistan have been dispossessed far too easily. Far too and sometimes easy. they've just given away possession. Very casual. That was a brilliant save by Yusuf, but what a header by, uh, by Noor al Rabat, if I'm not wrong. No, that was Yazan al Namat. And what a save. Super save by Yusuf, but he had a very, very. What, what is regarded as he's the best player in Jordan, and he takes the corner kick. And that is defended brilliantly by Faridullah. That comes back. That was a special moment. When he started that uh, screamer in. That was a brilliant screamer from his uh, weaker foot, from his left foot. Here's Alam Ghazi who tries. He, that was a good. Once again, Pakistan are doing better now. They've won possession over here, and Alam Ghazi over Gheer. here plays a long ball, finds Abdul Samad over here on the right flank, and uh, yeah, he is. Oh! He's that won is Pakistan a free kick in a very important position over here, so good work by the green shirts. That has been some, uh, as I told you, Pakistan has been growing in confidence and Alamgir Ghazi is one of the main players that has brought that confidence out. He's retained the ball well, he played a brilliant through ball. Someone to head it in. I uh, don't think they're going to go direct. They aren't going direct and here's Abdul Samad Ashad and he's done brilliantly here, but that is cleared by Nizar al Rayat. That's what he needs to do. Here's Alamgir Ghazi played to Adil Yunus who holds up the play, surrounded by four. Did you see that press by Jordan? Now here's uh, Yazan al -Lewin. That's given as he into to attack. Uh, Alamgir Ghazi short one was one occasion. Here's Nizar al Rajdan. Just slipped over there, Nizar al Rajdan. Otherwise, I think he found himself in a. Dad, he looks for the gap in the defense, but that is well defended by Mohammed Saddam, who, after the first few minutes, I believe, has grown into the game and has dealt with that. Uh, Esan Haddad overlap on the uh, right uh, on his left hand side pretty well, and there's the half time whistle. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to this live run. And uh, as we've seen, they scored two early goals. Yeah, throw in by Rao Mahayat over here finds Faridullah, but he has been dispossessed. Yazan Al Arab once again immense in defense for have had replaced Shai Ghost with, if not, if not. I mean, uh, considering that we're 2-0 oh, done. Just a minute there now, Jordan are in over here. Musa Tamari was in a really solid position to score. Or actually, they're still in a very solid position to score. But Pakistan have defended this well. Looking to score more goals in this fixture. So the, they've started this half with, uh, you know, uh, well, there's another attack. And this time, it could have been a third goal, but well saved by Yusuf Bhatt. So good on him. 
Jordan are still on the attack over here. They play it long, but it for today. Here's, here's Adil Yunus, who's going to take on the defender's essence. Uh, Haddad. Slips over there as well. Uh, had a good opportunity to make something out of that. But Adil Yunus falls short. And Hassan Haddad uh, really showed For their exposure at the international arena. And here's a, an attack for Pakistan. They're looking good over here. The ball has been played into Faridullah, who does control it. Goes for a back flip and, well, takes a punt over there, Alamgir Ghazi. But it's... Ankiani with a uh, cross in. Here's Hassan Haddad with a cross in now. Well defended once again by... These two games when... Pakistan faced Saudi Arabia, they conceded four goals, although Abdul Bal was immense on that day. Here, yeah, Jordan in it up until now, and uh, they've grown into the game, Pakistan, they've grown with confidence, and they believe they can take something out of this game. Mehmood al Mardi with a pad, you know, countering that strategy. Another corner over here for Jordan, and it's a bit too wide over there. Uh, and plies his trade in uh, Qatar with Al Ali, who's been one of the major uh, clubs in this part of the world. I reckon Javi was managing Alali at, at, at one point. Who plays the ball in uh, to Nizam Al Rajdan. Uh, Mehmood Al Mardi once. Oh, well, that's Hassan Adad actually in a goal scoring position. Plays across, but. It's and that's Yazan Al Nemeth. Pakistan with some solid defensive work. And here's Faridullah. Faridullah on the counter has some space over here. Can he make the move? Oh, he slipped. He has slipped. And an ode to Steven Gerrard. <laughs> Faridullah has he shots and now. that goes over the bar. Spreads out the play on the right uh, flank to Abdul Samad Ashad. Here's Raumar Hayat who tries to play a one. Not much of a nuisance. Faridullah with a great interception over here. Makes some room for himself. Is not given enough room though to have a sh crack at forward. Finds Noor Al Rawab there who plays it forward to Ehsan Haddad once again. Yeah. This is Al Rajdan in the D. So here's Musa Tamari, who's been quite uh, quiet uh, yeah. after scoring his free gig in the first minute. Since then, he hasn't uh, exploited Pakistan. And here is right Rural that. that was, was a Brit off. Pakistan on the counter over here. Abdullah Iqbal plays the ball to Harun Hamid, number 18, who's making his run. Needs to find someone over here, but is dispossessed. So active today, one of uh, Jordan's main orchestrators of uh, all their attacks. Here's Musa Al Tamari. He plays it short. And they've got some room over here. Can Tamari find the net? He tries. What a brilliant save by Yusuf. But uh, he claimed that cross with confidence. Very, very capable, you know, uh, defensive trio. Beautiful ball over there. Finds Al Rawabde, who plays it to Musa Al Tamari. He's got some good space over here. Can he turn this into a goal scoring opportunity? The first few minutes out, it's, it's been fairly even, Stevens, I'd say. Uh, Jordan with a corner kick. It lands on Yazan. Al Looks like a short corner. Yeah. Here's Mahmoud Al Mardi who plays it in. Corner taken. For Musa Al Tamari. <laughs> Musa Al Tamari. Musa, so failed to control that, Musa yeah. Al Tamari. And he's been dispossessed again. He's been off color. Yeah, Yazan Al Arab has been solid defensively. Here's Jordan once again. They tried to. You know, breach Pakistan's defences once again on that Nizad occasion. Still are. And here's Hassan Haddad with a cross and it. One though who've done well to keep possession. They've piling on. The, they've been piling on the pressure for the past five minutes. And Almardi with a shot over here. And Rahi Snabi uh, heads it down. And it's back to Jordan. They've been piling on the pressure for the past five it's minutes. A very cute here's Musa Al Tamari. Cheeky pass over there by Hassan Haddad. But once again, Al Tamari does not go for goal himself. Been the uh, tank, and, as you can say. There's yes. Musal Tamari with some space again. Will he choose to set someone else up or will he set himself up? Goals as they can score because this might just come down to the goal difference between yeah. them and Tajikistan. And, and here so is Pakistan in attack. A very, very solid position that they find themselves in over here. Oh, that was a great chance for Adil Yunus who parries it and Yazid Abulela ca catches it with his two arms and puts it forward. And here come Jordan in attack. Jordan are in attack. The crowd start to bring out some cheers, some claps. Yeah. Uh, let's give them a roar or two, uh, courtesy of a goal. And that was a defensive error over there on that occasion by Bart has looked like it's boys against men. Musa Al Tamari on the attack once again. Abdul Iqbal deals with that perfectly. And the referee has called uh, for a penalty over there. Abdul Iqbal is not happy. He's been shown a yellow card as well. Um, uh, Yusuf Butt 
well, maybe he can give the crowd something to cheer about if he can, you know, uh, produce a save over here. So here we go. Usal Talmari. And he saved it! What is... But with a spectacular penalty save. Moment of the game for Pakistan right there. Even after he'd suffered a minor injury. Blank and has been very, very resolute in defense as well. Uh, so, very multifaceted is Jordan's captain. And oh, very nearly... Uh, they would have liked to score more than them and get their goal difference up. You were very, very correct when you said it might come to goal difference between those two teams, which is why Tajikistan does hold the edge as things stand. And if either of these teams upset Saudi Arabia, oh, that is, well, quite unlucky over there. A deflection and it's back in the net or at the back of the net courtesy of Musa al Tamari, who does turn his night around. Uh, enjoys a bit of good fortune over there. Uh, and that ball ricochets off Pakistan. Playing so well for majority of the game, right? So they conceded two in the first few minutes. And here's Musal Tamari once again in a good position. Can he set someone else? Up? Much. Yeah, they could have uh, taken some positives into that game. And there's another strike by George. The most part, you know, Pakistan's football has been paralyzed. The team has been banned on a fifth as well. Yeah. So, oh, here's Faridullah with the cross, and oh, very nearly over there. Oh, all in all, he's been really great in today's game Some for Idola. Good silky work over there by Harun Hamid. He finds Imran Kiani right here. Oh, oh my word, Imran Kiani just marginally over the bar on that occasion. Was in a really good position to score a goal for Pakistan. Was coming off of that ever since the previous FIFA World Cup. Stoppage time has really increased globally. Yeah, they've uh, put in new rules for that. Here's Musa Al Tamari once again. Ooh. Well defended by Rahis Nabi this time. And oh, what a try! What? Was that a save or was that, uh, or did that hit the crossbar? Either way, Yusuf Butt seems to be in a bit of pain. But uh, that was a solid attempt. And if that one plays his football in Muslim Jaman FC, and uh, you know we saw some really good bit of skill from him. You know, a through ball as well. And here's some more good skill from here's Pakistan. Waleed, Waleed uh, has just about managed to keep that in. If I must say, is Harun Hamid. He's held up the play brilliantly. He's also, uh, you know, produced some good through balls. You know that back heel, back heel was that, brilliant that he uh, brought out. And this is this is the best Pakistan have looked all game. Very fluid at attack. Rahis tries for it. Imran is that Kiani. Really a, oh, so that is gi given as offside. Yeah, looked offside. Tajikistan four versus Saudi Arabia and now three versus Jordan. Thirteen games in three. Thirteen goals. Sorry, apologies in three games. That's quite a lot. And that's another solid strike and saved by Yusuf Butt. Was that a save or did that hit the post? Uh, with their defensive solidity. Corner taken by Jordan and one. And apart from that, you could say that Rao Omar Hayat hasn't done all too badly. Oh, here is Musal Tamari in a brilliant goal scoring position. And tried Yusuf to go Butt. for the chip, but is saved by Yusuf Butt once again. And Jordan are again relentless in attack over here. Pakistan resolute in defense. Here are Jordan once again, but that attack amounts to nothing. And Here's the full-time whistle. 3-0 uh, to Jordan as Musa al scores uh, two goals and Ali Olvan scored a penalty early in the half.